At night, Lee Jae put on a diaper and crawled under Susan's bed. In this way, Lee Jae did not eat or drink for a few days, just to observe Susan's daily routine. However, that night, he saw an extremely astonishing scene. Lee Jae was not favored since he was a child, and he was a complete waste in school. One day, the teacher asked him a question, but timid Lee Jae hesitated for a long time, but couldn't answer. Fortunately, Susan behind him handed him the answer. Lest he make a fool of himself in front of the whole class, after class, in order to thank Susan for her kindness, Lee Jae plucked up the courage to ask Susan out for dinner. Susan did not refuse, he took Susan to a restaurant. And the introverted Lee Jae was a little embarrassed, and Susan is a lively and cheerful girl, and the atmosphere is not so awkward. He quickly fell in love with the smiling girl in front of him, however, the good times are always so short, and soon. Susan left here for family reasons, 10 years have passed in a blink of an eye, and Lee J is still a good for nothing. In order to find Susan, Lee J inquired about Susan's address, but when he saw Susan again, everything changed, at this time. Susan was no longer as lively and cheerful as before, and only a sad expression remained on her haggard face. In order to understand Susan's living conditions, Lee Ji rented a store opposite Dot in the evening. Lee Jae put Susan's portrait on the wall and bought a telescope, ready to pay attention to Susan's life at any time. In this way, Susan is under the supervision of Lee Jae every day, whether she is taking the baby to breastfeed or taking a bath. But that night, Lee Jae saw a scene that broke his heart. Susan welcomed her husband Abe home, but Abe grabbed her by the neck and threw her to the ground, then punched and kicked her. Susan gets punched and kicked every day. Seeing this scene, Lee J realized that Susan was not happy after marriage. The next day, seeing the bruises on Susan's face, Lee J was very distressed. Then he bought flowers and put them by the door, hoping to bring some comfort to Susan. But Susan, who got the flowers, was afraid that her husband would know. So she threw the flowers into the trash can. On this day, Lee J sneaked into Susan's house. He could taste the lingering scent of Susan under the covers, but it wasn't enough to satisfy him. So he changed into diapers again and got under Susan's bed. He has a panoramic view of Susan's every move every day, even when Susan was cooking. He would hide upstairs and watch secretly. It didn't take long for Abe to discover his dropped business card. He thought Susan was cheating, and when he caught Susan, he beat her up and pushed her into the bathtub. Lee J felt extremely guilty. He didn't dare to crawl out from under the bed until late at night when Abe fell asleep. In order to save Susan, he ordered an anti-wolf artifact online. When her father-in-law was sick, Susan proposed to go home to visit her, but Abe disagreed. Susan slapped him across the face, Lee Jae, who was hiding in the dark, wanted to step forward to help, but he was timid and cowardly. And he didn't even have the courage to stand up. Susan had to pick up the knife to resist, but Abe took the knife away. Seeing the blood, Susan let go of the knife in fright and was pushed to the ground by Abe. Knowing that Abe had completely lost his mind at this time, Susan was frightened and shouted for help. Lee Jae, who was hiding under the bed, decided that he could no longer stand idly by, just when Abe was about to hurt Susan. Lee Jae made a decisive shot and stunned Abe. Seeing the rare opportunity, Susan was ready to kill Abe herself, but at the last moment, Lee J stopped Susan because he couldn't bear to let Susan go to jail, so he killed Abe. Dot. In the end, Lee J did not choose to escape, and Lee J came to the police station alone and surrendered himself. At this time, Susan also recognized Lee J from the graduation photo. At the last moment, Susan came to the police station and called out Lee J's name. <laughs> Thank you.